Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to another episode of Mod of Redemption. So, in the last video, I left you guys about ready to start fighting a Blood Moon. And as you can see, this is not a Blood Moon. There is a distinct lack of blood here, and I will explain that to you. So you see, after I finished the first video, I immediately got started recording the next one, because I had nothing but free time, and I figured, why not? Let's keep going. But then I had a thought. I Right in the middle of that, right after I got, like, about five, six minutes into the video, I was like, you know what? I think I honestly much rather prefer uploading a video and then having all you folks tell me tips and advice and hints, and it sort of gives me a direction for the videos. It sort of gives me an idea for what to do next, because I like to plan out what my goals are. And right now... This game just, th this mod, rather, just throws stuff at me. And it's a little bit overwhelming sometimes. So I can go over what I crafted, what new things I have, because I do have a couple new things, some new crafting materials and whatnot. As you can see, I sort of filled out this house a little bit better. That's first off. Got some things planted, some trees growing. I'm going to put some houses up there. We're going to get working on magic storage eventually, but that's, you know, that's, that's uh, stuff for another time. Right now, let's talk about items. So... One of the first things I want to talk about was this thing called a Tin Cross, which is made out of... Where are we at here? It's made out of some tin bars, some rope, and some small lost souls that you get from the skeletons or from using the magnetic soul bond. And it is a 5% increase of druidic damage and increases your spirit level by 1, which I believe makes it so... Yeah, the higher your spirit level, the greater chance of small lost souls spawning. So having a high spirit level makes it so this thing is more likely to spawn lost souls, which is important because those small lost souls will actually allow me to create an armor set at some point and a whole bunch of useful items. Uh, where is it? Right here. The lost soul armor right here. So that's something I'm definitely going to be needing to farm. Next on the list is a whole bunch of other crafting materials like living twigs, which is useful cre for creating some new weapons and accessories, as well as living wood stuff. If you're interested in building like that, which I might end up making a big living tree, very druid-style living tree, might be cool. Next is tree bug shell. That helps you make green dye and something called a shell necklace, which is interesting because this is a quest item. It says pretty. The next crafting item is this ancient gold coin. Or not ancient gold coin, I already talked about that one. Where is it at? Uh, did I put it uh, in here? Ancient brass chunk. It helps you make these ancient brass bars. And this is used for another whole set of equipment, accessories, quest items, lost souls, chest plate, all this stuff. So, you know, all in all, there is a lot of stuff to do. There's a lot of things to get done. And I did notice down there, there's a little bit of something over here. There's a seed bag. What is this? 12 druidic damage. Okay, so, what does that say? Uses 5 mana, very slow speed. It's material, native terrain, none. Throws a seed that grows into a spooky hand. Oh. Well, that's interesting. So, wow, okay, that is a pile of damage. Okay, well, I guess uh, mana is essential then. I'm definitely going to have to go farming for some stars at some point. Some fallen stars. Can I grab that before the sun comes up? Ah. What is that? Moonflare bat. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I got another weapon. It's called a Moonflare Stave. It's that penetration that I needed. Wipe out large groups of enemies. It works like the other Druidic Stave, so it'd have your little guardian there. Special ability is triple shot and glow. So that's pretty fantastic. I can summon it out like that. Look at that. Blasting. I shoot the power of the Moonflare. I think, I think that's what it is. The Moonflare at my enemies. So yeah, there we go. Got a bunch of new stuff already. Seed bag, we'll hold on to that. Don't know if I'll use it right this second because I don't really have the mana. Make a mana crystal though. A couple of those. But there we go. That's where we left off. A whole bunch of talking about all the new items and things that I discovered. So now the next order of business is... Remember whenever I said I like it whenever you guys give me tips and advice? Well, the main thing that everybody has been saying out of all the comments that I got on the last video revolves around eggs. That particular item, for some reason, is something very fascinating, and apparently there is a boss associated with it. So I guess what I'm gonna do, get a bug net, because I was told you can capture chickens. Got them. It's a material. See what's up with these things. They make a chicken coop, occasionally spawns eggs. Okay, so I need to get chickens, I need to get some wood and some hay. But yes, eggs are very, very essential for some reason, so I guess I gotta get working on farming that stuff. I don't know why that that object is the object of your obsession, but hey, you know what? I'll bite. We'll go on a chicken adventure. That's just, it's, it's, 
there's the title of the episode, A Chicken Adventure. But in addition to that, something very important that I need to do is go back down to the underground and continue my exploration down there because I left a whole bunch of stuff unlooked at. Surprisingly, I did not get murdered down there by everything, but we did come across some new enemies, so that is very fascinating. So anyway, chicken stuff later. For now, we are going back down to the underground and we are going to see what we can find when we pick up where we left off. So I'll see you then. Okay, this looks to be around about where we left off in the last episode. Just a bit past that granite biome over there. Now let's see what we can find this way. If we can't find anything, we'll go the other way, but it looks like we already did. We've got a mushroom biome. My god, it is like night and day compared to what it's like in Journey's End. Oh well, at least there's a nice sized house in there. I don't see a chest. There it is. There's a chest over there. To grab a couple of these blue mushrooms and see what we can find in there. Hopefully something supremely powerful. Maybe like a mushroom related druid item or something like that. That'd be pretty nice. Okay, let's see what's up in this chest over here. If I can get up there. Yeah, come on, mortal enemy. The inability to move through simple objects. Oh, the door exploded. We'll put that right back down. Got a keg. Brew some ale. What do you got? More shoe spikes. Two gold coins, though. That is pretty nice. See that trap there? I'll just leave that be. Any other traps? No? Nothing? We got another minecart track up this way. Very fascinating. There's another big seam of this stuff. All right, let's follow it along. We do need gems. That is definitely something that's on the top of the list right now. So we can get magic storage going. Let's go down the path. Oh, skeleton merchant. Tom, what's up? Are you the person given to a certain undead as currency? Nothing interesting. Same old, same old. Can buy some bombs. I don't have a need for those right this second, though. Some rubies. I need some diamonds. That is what I crave right now. That. Ah. Oh, I feel an evil presence watching me. Well, sorry, Ian Cthulhu. I'm not ready to face off against you yet. We have other things to deal with. Could use a slime rain, though. I can knock King Slime out. Let's use the seed bag on this granite golem. It does not do a lot of damage to these guys. I didn't know golems possessed the intelligence capable of avoiding the demon zombie hands that come out of the ground. Come on, just stand in it. He just wants to give you a high five. Look at that. You're going to leave him hanging like that? There you go. Give him a high five. I'll throw all that down there. What are you? Skeleton duelist. You're different. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. Ah, this has like no knockback at all. Come on, die already. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. Don't just have the curse. He'd die. Let me kill this guy. What? What's what's going on with you? Oh, whoa, slice stab. I was informed that that is in fact not talking. That is actually just uh, like a description of what they're doing, which is probably makes a lot more sense than thinking it was talking because my that was my original thought and all I could think of was the chickens up there going peck peck and me just thinking, well, they're just pecking the ground, shouting peck at everything they bonk their beak into. Which that's that's a lot funnier, but you know what? That's 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 all right. I guess it does make more sense. When did this game start making realistic sense? I don't like that. What are you? There's that thing again. Lost soul? I have an idea. Come here. Ah, oh, I lost it. I was going to try to catch that. I had a thought. Perhaps I could catch it with a net. Oh, well, well. I'm sure there'll be another one soon. Eventually. I think that's like the third one I've seen, though. Oh, we're in the desert. Okay, well, we're not going that way. I am definitely not ready to tangle with the tomb crawlers. I say that because that's the only enemy in the desert that I'm actually intimidated by. All the rest of them are just kind of, they're cannon fodder. Meat for the slaughter. Oh, and there's the first trap of this let's play. All right, great. And I'm going to go up there and the Eye of Cthulhu is going to be waiting for me, isn't he? Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, I fail to, um, I don't really think that's how physics works. Yep, and there's the Eye of Cthulhu. I'm not ready for you yet. I don't want it. I will not face you. I won't do it. I will not. I will just sit here and let my pixie do his thing, or not pixie, whatever he is, and I will die. I will die honorably. Come on. If this was master mode, I'd be dead already. Let's go. Kill me already. Oh, wait. I have four gold. No, wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Don't kill me just yet. I gotta drop my gold off. Hold on. Give me just a second real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, my God. You are, like, really throwing those syringes out there. There we go. Now I can die. Now it's acceptable. Thank you. What, what, um, pray tell are you throwing those at, Katie? What exactly is it you're trying to hit with those? Is there something there I don't see? Um, hello? Okay, this is a little bit odd. I don't think I've ever seen her do this before. Um, 
No, you're just gonna... Oh, he's... Okay. She's trying to throw him the guide, but he's just a little bit out of range, and they're just kind of falling down and floating directly beneath him. Oh, okay, that's... I'm just gonna let you be. You look like you're having a time. Okay, anyway, back down underground. Okay, we found ourselves another underground mushroom biome. Looks like some platinum, a lot of gems down here too. That's very useful. Still haven't come across any diamonds though. Everything else under the sun, all the other gems, but just no diamonds. It's a little bit irritating. All right, let's go down there. Maybe I'll come across a diamond biome or something like that. One of those little gem caves. That'd be pretty nice. Ah, hello trap. Hello, bats. Ow, God, no, don't put me down here with the slime. Let me out. I'm gonna be down here with that thing. Ah! Oh, wow, okay, that was really lucky. I guess the, uh, the worm hitting me actually saved me from getting destroyed by that boulder. Well, how about that? That is what I call useful. Got another house over this way. Might as well go over there and check that out. Ah, I'm out of torches already, really? I had like a stack of 99. Oh, I might have to head back up at some point. Let's take the silt with us. It might be one of the only ways we can actually get a hold of some diamonds if they're not going to spawn down here naturally. Just got to get an extractinator. Somewhere there's got to be one. All right, what do you got for me? Hermes boots, already got one of those. Got a hunter potion. Some tungsten bars, those are useful. I do not want to fall in the lava right now. I do not have the health to survive that little dip in that mess. Ah, oh, I was gonna try to catch it. Oh well. Oh, there's one, let me see if I can grab it. Ha, I definitely can. That is awesome. I got two of them from at that time. How many do I have now? I have eight of them. I'm not sure how many I have all together, but hopefully whenever I do eventually go back up, I should be able to craft some stuff out of all those. But that is really cool. I like that I can catch those with a bug net. My hunch was right. Or maybe one of you guys told me that in a comment and I just forgot about it. I don't know if you did or not, I'll have to look over it again. Well, there's a spider cave over there. Good to know. Let me take a look and see if I can find the stylist in there. Maybe something new down in there. That is a bit of a dig down there, though. Let's take a look anyway. For science! Science and exploration. Let's just, you know what, let's just do some aggressive terraforming. Ah, okay, let's, let's not get carried away. There we go. Drop some bombs down there. That'll show those spiders what's what. Can they get to me? Oh, yes, they can. Ah, but they can't climb up the things without... They can't do it without the walls. Ha! Ah, you're stuck. You can't do it. Oh, look at them trying to kill me. Ah, oh, it's adorable. Okay. Continue the exploration. Okay, this was a mistake. This was definitely a mistake. Ow, ow, God. Okay, yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I want to get away from it. I don't want to get eaten by it. I want to get away from it. Total difference. Ah, oh, spider caves. I'm not arachnophobic or anything, I don't have any problems with that, but my god, they're just a really annoying biome to traverse. Spider webs everywhere. It's probably great for the early games, you can get your hands on beds real quick, but I mean, it's mostly just annoying. Well, that way back just certainly became extraordinarily inhospitable and unappealing to travel through. Why don't I try to bomb my way around? I think that would be a much better, wiser idea. Well, I'm pretty much out of torches and I got a full inventory, so I guess that means now would be a good time to return back to the surface and see what all I can craft. Let's empty out that inventory a little bit, put this stuff where it belongs. Let's take a look and see what I can make out of all this stuff. So I am definitely able to craft this Lost Souls set out of, it looks like, 15 of these small Lost Souls and three ancient brass bars. So that's what I'm going to do. We'll craft the chest plate the head and the leggings. Throw that on there, see what that looks like. So, we got a plus one to spirit level, increases spirits summoned by one, and critical strike and damage increase for all of my druidic damage. 2% damage reduction, spirits shoot faster, decrease falling speed. Oh, how about that? A little bit of permanent slow fall. I look like a ghost man. So does that mean, is that this thing means I get more than one summoned at a time? What does that mean? It increases spirits summoned by one. Oh, does that mean that the uh, number of spirits that can spawn whenever I kill things with this is increased? And what is my spirit level two now? So there's a pretty good chance for the magnetic soul bond to give me even more lost souls. 
Looks like it gives a little bit more armor, just a little bit better than the Dryad's Garland. Okay. Well, that's just fantastic. Anything else useful with the Small Lost Souls? Can I make anything else? Doesn't look like anything that I can craft right this second. A lot of stuff, though, so we'll hold on to that. It's going to be real convenient whenever I get magic storage set up. Uh, but that'll be something for later. Okay, well, now that I've got all this gear, what I want to do now is craft that chicken coop. Since I finally have these two chickens, I got the hay and I got the wood. Let's craft a chicken coop. It's pretty decent size right there. We'll put it down here outside. So, how does it work exactly? Does it just kind of spit an egg out every once in a while, or what? Should I Should I wait? I need to water it or something. How does chicken operate? Maybe if I just stand here and stare directly at it, it will encourage the chickens inside to lay eggs faster. I can just imagine they poke their head out this little hole in the front and they just see me, this spooky ghost man, standing right outside be like, you guys done yet? You, did you do it yet? How's it going in there? You guys need any help? I'm here for moral support if you need me. I believe in you. You will produce the most finest, highest quality terrarian eggs. Okay. Well, while I wait for it to do that, I think I want to go on some surface world exploration. Take a look around and see what my biomes look like and where they all are. Figure out where things are at. Just take a little bit of a look around and explore. While I happily glide around, exploring, floating, in the beautiful rain, the morning sun sets. So I know that the desert is off to the left and the snow biome is off to the right. Let's take a peek around. Let's see what's going on in this world. And hopefully whenever we come back, there'll be a nice couple chicken eggs waiting outside. And see what's up with all that business. Why you people are telling me about... Wait, wait a minute. Oh, there's a slime rain. Okay, never mind. We gotta put exploration on hold. This is critically important. It's time to kill the king slime. Let's begin the slimy slaughter. Oh, I miss the slime rain theme from Journey's End. I really do. They need to get this updated going. I mean, I know that I, I know that the modders gotta take their time and do all the things they need to do to get it ready for Journey's End. But I'm excited. I am ready. I played Journey's End before anything else so I could get myself acclimated with what things were gonna be like whenever this eventually gets turned over to Journey's End. Oh, I'm gonna get so many small lost souls from this as well. I can just feel it. Oh, yes. I will be the ghostly man. Hey, there's an egg! I believed in him! All I had to do was not stare intensely at them really uncomfortably as a spooky ghost man outside their house. Who'd have thought? Probably a good thing I'm not a farmer. I imagine we're probably gonna kick King Slime's butt. I really have a good feeling about that. I- there is a lot of souls flying around. Also, I don't remember this weapon being auto-swing. I thought it was, uh, I thought you had to click it. Maybe there was like an update or something that I didn't notice, but I could have sworn that this was not auto-swing. Oh well, I'm not complaining. Anyway, let's commence with the slime slaughter, and I'll be back whenever King Slime finally rears his gooey, squishy head. Oh, there we go. King Slime has finally awoken. Where are you, big guy? He's over this way? All right, so let's pull out all the stops here. We do everything I can to take this guy down. Let's use our seed pouch. Pretty slow moving. This should be pretty effective. If I can get him to land on all of them. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's real good. And then we will bring this guy out, throw this at him. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, we're going to absolutely obliterate him. There ain't no hope for this guy. This is just too powerful for him. I am beyond his patheticness. As long as I don't get stuck in the water, do something stupid like, you know, run into nonsense. I am going to have a massive pile of souls from this. So there you go. Anybody wondering at it? the easiest way to farm lost souls, get yourself one of these magnetic soul bonds. Get some decent armor and then fight King Slime. You will get a mountain of them. Alrighty, and that right there, ladies and gentlemen, if I can hit him, is the end of King Slime. Alright. Let's run back through, collect all this stuff. Oh, yes. Murder them all. Slimy slaughter. I should have a pretty decent pile after all that. Let me go all the way over here make sure I didn't miss any. Good bit of coin. Okay, there we go. We have a grand total of 37 small lost souls. All right, let's see what's inside of our treasure bag. We've got the standard King Slime stuff. We've got a slimy saddle, shadow diamonds from magic storage, a little bit of the ninja set, RIP throwing classes, by the way, slime gun, solidifier, and the royal gel. Now, I finally got some chicken eggs. I've got eight of them. What is it exactly that they do? We'll ask the guide since we don't really use him very often. I don't want him to feel left out. So we can make fried eggs. An egg crown summons a legendary being, only usable day. Okay. 
So I need a gold crown or a platinum crown or a bland gold crown or a bland platinum crown. So I need 10 of these eggs. So I gotta wait just a little wee bit longer and then we should be able to summon forth this terrifying creature that which it speaks. I'm not sure if, oh good. Well, I'm not ready to fight you yet. You know, I gotta know your limitations there, I Cthulhu. Anyway, we're gonna farm some more eggs, we're gonna collect some things, and then we're gonna summon forth this being whenever I can finally make that crown. So I'll see you then. All right, I've got my egg crown right here. Consumable summons a legendary being, only usable at daytime. It is now daytime. Before I call forth this creature, this first boss that we're about ready to face off against, or whatever it is, I discovered that I wasn't able to make this most ridiculous of items. Probably one of the most overpowered things I've ever seen. Spirit bunny in a bottle. And I got Mother's Nature, Mother, or Mother Nature's as an affix, which I'm assuming is like the legendary equivalent because all those stats, that's what it leads me to believe. And look at that. Look at what that does. It travels through blocks. It's rapid fire. Hits for a decent amount of damage. Got a good amount of knockback. I mean, this is just, this is just ridiculous. I mean, look at all that. I love that. I'm shooting ghost bunnies. I'm a ghost man that shoots ghost bunnies. Oh, it's fantastic. But anyway, it is now finally time. Let's go to a nice wide open area for this here. It's finally time to call forth this creature. Bring it on. You fool, you dare think you can kill me? I'm the mighty chicken king and something else that he said. Okay. <laughs> Face me, mortal, and accept your fate. What happens when I touch him? Nothing, stubborn fool. You letting me make the first move? So be it, a god does not fear death. Okay, devourer of god's chicken. Oh my god. Okay, we're going into a sandstorm. Smite him! Oh, there we go. New record. It's a freaking chicken. What did you expect? Oh, that is hilarious. Okay. That was definitely worth running the video a little bit longer than it normally, uh, I normally prefer it. Let's open the treasure bag. What do we got? We got the agile egg staff. Someone's a combat chicken? What is that? Is that chicken flying out of a rocket on its feet? A gold crown, a pile of grain, summons the legendary chicken. Okay, well, I've got a chicken pet. And we have a Spirit of Life Druid class, an expert mode drop. Well, how about that? Better than nothing, that's actually a decent accessory. 5% increased druidic damage, getting attacked unleashes a weak spirit chicken to attack foes. You know what? We'll throw that in for the shackle. That's actually pretty cool. Does it look like anything on me? Does it have an appearance? Not really. Okay, well, that's actually half decent. Say, so you know what? I'm gonna call that an absolute victory. And I now have a chicken to attack my foes. I love that. That is fantastic. Okay, well, with that finally done and over with the first boss in this Let's Play, quite a challenging one it was. I think I'm gonna call it an episode here, guys. I think we've made some good, serious progress. In the next episode, we'll definitely be kicking the crap out of some bosses, doing a lot more exploration, and seeing what more this mod has to offer. Expanding this house is definitely something on the list as well. But anyway, like I said, I think the episode's been going on for long enough, so I'm gonna call it an episode here, guys. So, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it, and as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, I hope you're having a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.